Hello, we're going to do this neon effect in Photoshop. And you can get the file right here, but I'm going to have the file too on one of the assignments. So you can just find it right there. So let's go into Photoshop. I'm going to open up the file that I downloaded already. It's called neon effect.psd. And here's our hand. And for this first part of this assignment, we're going to take the pen tool and we're going to draw this triangle right over here like that. Okay. So a couple things we're going to do is we need to change it to shape right up there. Shape. We need to change this part right up here to the, the red line that goes. So it basically says that there's no fill. Okay. This is important. No fill. And then right up here, we're going to have to change it to white. So click it. I think it's normally black. So we're going to click on white. And then we're going to change this to 15 pixels, okay? So now we're going to take this. We're going to put a dot over here, dot over here, dot over here, and a dot over here. So there you go. That's your, your initial triangle, so to speak. And if for some reason you don't like it, you can just go command Z and start over again. For some reason, you don't like your triangle. Okay. So now, and sometimes I will just keep on changing it until I see the triangle I want. I don't know. I think I want it kind of out here a little bit more. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, so now that I have that, what we're going to do is we are going to add some glow to this. So in order to add some glow, we're going to go down here to this add a layer style right here. So it's FX. So click on that and go to outer glow. And now going to outer glow, I have some things over here already that that's going to work. But what you want to do is you want to have this. This one's going to be screen and you want the opacity to 50 and you want the size to be 70 and you want the spread to be six. Now, this is what's going to work for this one. So normally it's just going to be white here and you're not going to have anything. I think this is down a lot more. So that's what it looks like without any effect. So you're going to find pink right up here. So you're going to click on this little white square, and this is going to come up the color picker. And you can put whatever color you want, okay? I just kind of put some kind of pink, magenta, but you could easily do blue, okay? But right for this one, we're going to go like a pink, magenta, okay? We're going to take this opacity up to 50, right in there, 50, somewhere like that. The spread is going to be 6, the size is 70. If you want to change that, you can then we're going to click OK and now we're going to add another one. We're going to go to the inner glow. And now this has already got what you want to be selected, but I think normally it's on screen. And so you have to change it from screen to multiply. OK, you want the multiply for the inner. You want 35 for the opacity and you want 10 for the size. And again, if you don't have a color, you can pick a color right there. Magenta, you can pick whatever color you want and then click OK. At this point, what you want to do is you want to right click on here, right click on the, on the shape layer, right click, and you're going to go to uh, convert to smart object convert to smart object and this is what's going to happen. Okay. And look at that line. That line is great. Okay. We're going to do this with your own hand too, but uh, for now we're going to use this, this one. So now that we have this, the problem is we want to make this look more three dimensional. So we're going to erase some of this line right here, and here and erase some of this line right in here. So it makes it look like it's kind of going behind the hand with the glow. So, what you can do is, is click on this little um, magnifying glass and then come in really close. Why do we want to come in close? 
because we want to see what we're going to erase. Okay. So at this point, you're going to go to your, your uh, brush tool. Okay. And you want to make sure this is white there. I think it's going to go black. Yeah, I think we want black. And you're going to go brush tool. You want to make sure that you have this shape there like that. Oh, I forgot. There's one other thing. When you have this like this, don't forget, this is really important. You need to hit the mask tool. Okay. So there's a little uh, add layer mask down here. This is a very important step. Without it, it won't work. So hit the layer mask right there. And now we're going to be coming over this part and erasing this with the mask. So if I have this right, let's see if I have it right. Um, you're going to change your, so select, make sure your brush is selected and you're going to change that to roughly 78 on this, on this image, your own image, it might need to be a different size. And then you're also going to change this hardness. So it's about 40%. It's soft. It's, you know, if you go completely hard, it's going to be, it's not going to be soft, right? Where you erase it, it won't look right. So we're going to kind of go to 40 percent okay so now what we're going to do now that we have it zoomed in here we are going to make sure it's a black so that needs to be black right there for it to erase so you see how there's two different squares you want black and with black there and you're on that little uh layer mask now you're going to erase some of this okay now i'm just kind of going over this right there there we go that looks good just a little bit next to the hand or the thumb, right? So right there, I'm, I'm making sure I'm getting rid of all the purple there. Okay, so now I'm gonna hold down space bar and I can move this around. So where am I moving this to? I'm going to do the same thing over here to the wrist, to the arm, okay? I'm getting rid of all of that right in there. Okay, and again, I'm going to hold down space bar and use my mouse to move this. Now, if you cannot see the, the differences between the background and this person's wrist to, to erase in the right place, just bump up the screen brightness. Okay, and I can do that on my Mac keyboard. Uh, hopefully you can do that. If you have a PC, there should be a way for you to select the right one just to bring it bright enough so I can see it. Okay. Now, if I go command zero on my, on the Mac, that's going to show me and what that, what that looks like. Okay. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So then of course, um, for this assignment, I'm going to save this. You can save it as a photo, uh, shop file. If you want to come back to the layers, but if you don't need to come back to the layers, you can save it as a JPEG. So I go file, save a copy. And I'm going to, of course, name it the same thing. I'm going to go JPEG and it has copy right there. And I'm going to go to my downloads. That's where I like to save it. And I'm going to go save. Okay. There you go. That's, that's it. That's your tutorial for how you can make some glowing lines and also make it look three dimensional by like that. It's actually looks like it's going behind the thumb behind the hand, but yet going through the fingers like that.